Hi everyone, Mark here at 911 Rap Response, and I'm gonna be happy to show you this brand new Bronco um, that we did here in the shop. And a little extra touch because it is mine. So I wanna go over it with you, uh, show you some functionality that we did to it, the product that we put on it. Uh, we're gonna start at the front of the vehicle here. We have a Rough Country bull bar with some Rough Country lights, which have the amber integration in it. So you can just have the amber lights on, or you can also have um, the work lights on as well. We have a pair of uh, Trio ions in here. So these are red, white, amber. These can be operated in both just red mode, red, white mode, as you see here, or amber flash, either one. We have T ions that are solid red down here. So if I go out into the other lane and travel a little bit, I have something pointing in this lane. The goal with this is, is I didn't want anything drilled into the body of the vehicle and anything that is drilled in that part is easily replaceable so like this ti on here this is a plastic piece that just snaps in from ford so i could easily replace that if i wanted to which is why that's done like that up top we have two spitfire ion spitfires those are single color reds the all famous argus light we made a plate for it mounted it to the mounting holes of the uh, bronco itself this vehicle does have wheel and core in it, so that's how we are doing the sweep. Um, if you actually, you can't really notice it on the, uh, the video probably, but as the sweep comes over to the left, it comes down just a little bit. Because of how the mount is, it keeps the, the angle of the light correct um, on the horizon. So we can actually program that sweep to be able to do that and, and how it moves. Come back around to the side of the vehicle as we go to the side. We have uh, rough country um, rails on the bottom. Uh, if you ever looked at these Broncos, they have a pinch weld on the bottom. They look pretty bad. Uh, they, look, they don't look aesthetically. A lot of vehicles have that pinch weld. So we put these rough country bars on the bottom. A pair of mud flaps, because these things do throw stones. If you have a Bronco, you're gonna know that. Um, and put ions. These are trio ions as well on the bottom. We took off the other badging sticker badge that they have and put on the old-fashioned Bronco badging. Come around to the back of the vehicle. Around the back side we have uh, four um, lights back here that are in the crisscross shape. These are trio as, as well. They can go white. Um, state law here in PA says we can't have white flashing to the rear and in, in, uh, in park mode. So I just have the white off all together. I might add it in later, I'll play around with it a little bit. We have two ions at the bottom. We have two T ions at the top. We smoke the top T ions here in house. So they blend in with the brackets. Um, the, uh, the dual color ions at the bottom already have a little bit of a, of a haze lens to them, smoked lens to them kind of from the factory. So they kind of blend in a little bit but nicer. The other thing I want to show you is Remember how I told you about that we don't mount anything on the, uh, on the body on this? So uh, our page, if you're listening, um, is a big guy on the ELS sites and stuff like that. He makes some brackets for us when we get in a pinch. Uh, we gave him this angle, bezel angle, told him what I wanted, drew it out, and we had him make these brackets. They're 3M taped on come out of the top there's a drain hole in the bottom if water would go in there it'll drain out the bottom they won't fill up and freeze and they're just 3m taped on yes i understand you can see the wire out the top and then we've secured inside here nicely but i have no holes drilled in and i got upper warning because i can't put anything in the back window because you know when i want to be cool and put the top down i can't have anything in here it'll crush the light or it'll, it'll break the top so that doesn't work either we also mounted a light here in the inside so that way, if I'm back here gearing up, the light shines on me and somebody's not going to hit me because I do lose these two warning lights. Um, I still keep the bottom, but generally when I would be doing that, the road would be shut down. I'd be off the side of the road anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, another feature that, we, that I put in is the slide out tray from uh, Ford. This is actually a Ford accessory option. Uh, we just put it in. It takes off the base floor. You bolt this system in. This is nice. I can take... Uh, fire gear set it out here in the back or search and rescue gear whatever that may be set it here in the back gear up or lay um, 
uh, command board structure out here or something like that as well, I can. So I'm gonna close this back up. And just to show you a couple different functionalities of this, I can uh, push my uh, white flash button. If I push it one time, it turns off my Argus up front. If I push it again, it's just my red flash. So this is red only, this is no white flashing at all. I do have daytime and nighttime, other patterns. So this is DVI mode, nighttime. And then here at Rapid Response, we call it DVI daytime. I don't really think that's a thing, but we made it a thing. So this is what we call DVI daytime, which is just um, high power on all flash, just like a wigwag. And then if I turn that off, I do have a front cut button that I can kill the front. And I have an amber flash, which is just an all amber flash. I don't know why, but I wanted amber flash just so I have it. That time that maybe I can't be authorized or I'm not using red lights. Um, and uh, I think I said this in one of my other videos uh, that I have to pull out a Jeep or something. I can turn on my amber lights. And then uh, just to give you some siren tones, uh, power call, whale, yelp, phaser, and uh, move over. Also, also have a horn button as well. So uh, come on in here. Let me show you where I mounted the stuff so you can see it. So up top here is my um, control panel. These are the buttons I was pushing. Push it once to turn the Argus on, push it again to turn it off. And then if I push red, I can just turn red on. There's my DVI buttons. My siren controller, this is a little different. So these are our siren tones. Um, this, is just on if i turn it one more notch it turns all my backlights off because driving at nighttime the blue backlight even that it's in the dimmest setting can be really bright so we have it that i can turn my backlights off and it turns my backlight off on my argus controller as well i'm going to put this in a drive just so you can see it but here's my argus controller i can control my argus right from here it's at a very nice sweet spot to control it it's at a nice comfortable spot the broncos also have upfitter switches so this upfitter switches my my uh, amber lights that you saw on the bull bar, but these upfitter switches control my work lights through core. So as you see, the white lights came on the on the sides there. So I have scene lights both sides, all sides of the vehicle. Plus I have the Argus for a scene light as well, so I can I can have uh, light up everything around me really nice. So cool project. Um, guys knocked it out of the park. They did a great job. Uh, I like to be a realistic, even that I am the owner and I like, I like lights. I still like to be realistic with my own personal builds. I still have a personal budget that I try to stay with. Um, this fits that very well. I get good coverage the whole way around the vehicle. I got good scene lighting, which is very important to me on a, on a smaller vehicle like this. Um, be able to serve the community and, uh, um, better it, um, as, uh, new things are, are on the horizon, right? So. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we're getting into the holidays. If you're watching this uh, video around the holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning into our channel and keep watching. We're growing. We're adding a place in Georgia, which is, which is going to be awesome for 2024. We can't wait. And uh, we got a lot of other things coming too. Just watch us on social media and you'll keep seeing them coming. Thanks everybody and have a great day.